Hey, what's up everyone? We are back in the woods and uh, we are gonna go at it. Uh, the other day, we uh, I'll show you what we did here. Uh, Cause I didn't get all of it on video cause we wanted to focus as I was just learning. Pretty excited and uh, um, learn how to chop some stuff to fall some, some uh, timber. And so anyways, here, what I'll show you, we got right there, uh, we had one is still standing, so that one's coming down. That one's got a back lean on it. So what we did is we took out these first two here, and you can see we sent them that way. This one broke. That one laid in really nice where we wanted it to. And then the first one I cut was right there. That I did not get on video because I wanted to focus just on uh, focus on it and not you know be in my first cut. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't. I didn't want to deal with the camera, you know. Uh, safety first and got that one laid it right where we wanted to it actually took out I don't know if you can see it up there um, let's see here this bay tree right there I think this one that's angling over can't really tell one of them it it, it broke it off so we tried to send it through there and right down in and uh, um, we were trying to send it through and have it just kind of sweep through but it actually broke it off but we got it where we wanted to so um, so in that regard, we got that all, uh, got that one. And then we took care of, uh, these two right here. And I'm going to go up there in a second. And then we're going to look at this one, which has a bit of a back lean on it. Um, ideally we don't want to go this way because this is where, uh, where Tim's got his, uh, his water pump and his dam and stuff like that. So we don't want to create more of a mess over here so um and as you can see you can see this lean coming up here so yeah and so that one's got to go that way that's the ideal so we're going to try and wedge it over and then otherwise we got just some got to buck this up take this one down here and uh just doing some cleanup so yeah gonna get to it check it out i got a new axe so the other one fell apart um, and it was just too light. We were trying to, uh, I was trying to drive some wedges and the head was falling off, it just wasn't good. So I got this one. This is the uh, uh, still, I don't know what they call it, if it's their Faller's Axe, um, university, a Pro Universal Forestry Axe. So uh, it seemed to get good reviews and um, I'm no pro by any means, but I like, uh, the construction seems decent and their warranty, oops, their warranty seems decent. And it's got this, uh, this part right here is pretty cool. That if you happen to miss your wedge, especially with the, with the metal tip wedges, uh, it doesn't destroy the, doesn't destroy the handle. I'm excited to try this thing out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop this one behind me. And uh, it's nothing major, but uh, I'll practice my techniques. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and stage everything up there. Not too shabby, if I might say so. Got to clean this up a little bit here. But looks pretty decent. Got a little bit, yeah, right there. So, okay, I'm going to clean it up. Put it in my back cut and drop it.
I just finished, uh, I finished dropping this one right here, laid it right there. And you really realize, and, and Tim's been saying this multiple times, here he comes, about a lot of it's all planning, about where you're gonna put it to make your life easier because I ended up putting it down here and I kind of realized that after the fact. I don't know if I could have sent it there, but if I could have, it would have been ideal to put it straight into the pile over there. And I ended up putting it here, which, or here, which wasn't the end of the world other than the fact that I had to clean it up out of there. So anyways, just finished that. I'm gonna buck up this little one here and then get stuff set up up top. So we're looking at this now Trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Like we talked about yesterday or the other day, we got some back lean on this and we're trying to send it that away. So were you you were saying you want to do a shallow notch up here? Yeah, you have to. Okay. We need two thirds of the tree wedging because we got eight inch wedges. Okay. Four inches of an undercut in and have 12 inches of holding wood to start with and see we need almost four inches for the width of the bar and eight inches for the depth of the for the wedges wedges so the more wedging distance we have the deeper we can get the wedge in the more to our advantage it is okay now the other thing is we want to try to get that far corner sawed up as close as possible. Looking at this one we did the day before yesterday, we have pretty much even holding wood all the way across. Yeah. Okay, we want to try to get less holding wood on this far corner so it releases first all on that side yeah. and pivots to our right side with more holding wood there. So if we get the width of the bar cut off at the corner like that, that's to our advantage. I don't know whether we'll be able to do that by reaching around because this clip. This is pretty. Is pretty yeah. Yeah, it's gonna go there without a wedge. What's that? It's got enough of a lean that we'll probably do it without a wedge, but we'll put at least one wedge in it.
Yeah, it's moving. Lifting. Yeah. That's good. Still got a little wood on that far corner, but I'm not going to put the saw back in there yet. No. You want to trade? Hmm? You want to trade? Hammering, or are you good? Yeah, go ahead and hammer for a little bit. Okay. So hold it. Oh yeah, that that sounds lens is over there. Cool. So is the goal to get, do we want to get this one out and get another wedge in here? Yeah, but uh, it's going to be difficult. You could take a... Should I just keep working on this one? Take take that little orange one. Uh-huh. Put it right in here. Is it here? Yeah. One up for the, in here. Okay. And see if you can get some lift and get some release of the other yellow one. Okay. Either yellow one to come out and then... We'll double up. No, it's not moving. Now, wait, wait, don't drive that one. <laughs> try, try to drive that one out, and then we'll double up. Oh, try and work this one yeah, out? Yeah, it out. Set the camera down if you want. Now try to drive any of them. <laughs> yeah, if the red head is on. More so than the others. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good. Grab your camera. Okay, now. Let's see if we can. See if we can get the two short ones out. Bang them out. There you go. Now we'll double up with the red edge. Take that one. Here's another one. What do you think, right here? Right next to that one, yeah. Okay. And here's the five pound edge. Let me chop off. And set it. I gotta clean off a little bit. That's 
nice. Yeah, sure. Still a little bit tight. Let me see if I can set them. No. No. Drive the other one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Made a noise. Yeah. There's quite a bit of holding in there. Yeah. Where you at? One here. Let's double up. You can. You want the helmet? Not yet. Okay. Oh, it's moving. You have a much better swing than I do. I think you have like a constant, nice, constant pace. I was trying to, it was weird because your, your swing was much more efficient. Well, there's a whole rhythm to it too. You drive it, it's got to go all the way up there. And that rhythm has to stop before you can drive again. A little so, bit of wind, anything can set it back pushing this way like right now the wind is this way yeah well see you have that nice constant pace I think that makes a, a big difference where I was just stopping because you're getting you're definitely getting more movement oh did it just creak yeah Wind. Yeah, there's that much holding wood on the far side. I didn't quite get to the corner. Yeah. Mind if I try again? Go ahead. Let, let's do this. I'm going to try your... Put this in here. Your rhythm method. Drive that, and then hit the others, and then we'll double down, double up, double up, double up. We get a little bit more lift, we'll be able to double up. Oh, see, that's, why, <laughs> that's why you got to have the right axe handle. <laughs> Right. Okay. Before and I said there was too much of gap in there. <laughs> too much. Yeah. I tried to solve the problem without the right tool. Okay, man. Right. Come to a stop and go to the others. Okay. Oh no, the other. Oh, now. Right. Okay. Yeah. It was still moving a little bit. But it's bouncing off. It's not doing anything. Okay, got it. There we go. It always gives you a little relief. It's moving. Yeah, keep going. If it's moving, you just keep wet. I'm going to run that way. Yeah.
See, everything you do has consequences. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is this what you're talking about here? This. Yeah. That, See how or, thick that is? It's ever so slightly thicker than over here. Yeah. So I should have had another. Should have been this thickness. Should have been reversed. This thickness over there <laughs> in that corner, but we couldn't get to it to see it. Yeah. And. And the short bar doesn't help. Yeah. Uh, the thicker side here, but it went right where we wanted. Not necessarily the short bar. It's that you can't get around there to see. Yeah. How much of the corner you cut? I did cut a tiny bit of it, but I didn't get this edge there. But it went right where we wanted it, right where we had it done. So that's good. Okay, we're heading over to check out the results of our handiwork here. As you can see, it fell right in the crotch of these two. And uh, this is the tree here. And then it took out something over there. And uh, so the goal was to keep it out of the creek. And looks like we managed to do that. So. We laid these. This is the one that just came down here. And uh, it took out something else over here. Pretty cool. So we managed to keep the creek clean. Yeah, let's see how well that stump we left high. Yeah, <laughs> that worked out really nicely. All three of them stayed where we wanted them. Yeah, this one here ended up breaking off, but it still stayed out of the creek. And there's the other portion of it right there. So all in all, that was a success, except for one broken ax. So now is the plan to head down. We're gonna go work on the, work on the dam? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now we have the ax handle. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, you gotta find the head. That's down there. <laughs> okay, we just finished up here and uh, we did some work and we have Tabitha here. Yeah. Say hi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi. Yeah. You gonna lick the camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just finished up. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. There we go. Can you make it? Fun day and uh, still got some, probably got more trees to cut at some point, but was able to get this. This had a ton of muck in it and tree branches and stuff like that. So we got that all cleaned out. So it's a lot of fun. Now we get to hike out of here. And I got the ax that I showed and that worked, actually worked quite well. Um, oh, we didn't, I don't know if we got on camera. I think we might've with, uh, with uh, Tim's ax losing, <laughs> losing the ax head. That was kind of entertaining. Um, Cause he, had, uh, well, I don't know if it was that entertaining cause he just repaired it. But uh, anyways, we're gonna hike up. Till next time, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, be sure to get some more fun videos soon.